Dear ones, to all of our current members of Legend in 2021 and those who have taken it before, I am extending an invitation to you from my heart to yours to join us for the Color of Woman training. This is the first time we've ever offered it twice in a year. So we're offering Color of Woman 2021 in October, and then you will graduate as one of the classes of 2022. But I wanted to personally take this moment to invite you because I'm kind of blown away by what's happening in the world. So in order to make this invitation heartful and authentic, I must speak my truth to you. And I'll admit that I am concerned. And I've been concerned for a while. Um, both of my grandmas, grandmothers were special in their own right. They were their own kind of medicine women, healers. They were some of the most amazing women I've ever met. And both of them told me there would probably come a time in my life where there would be cycles of impossible unbearability. And I don't know about you, whether it's happening in your life, household, and village, or whether it's reading about what's happening in the world, but every single day I am affronted, amazed, and saddened by the challenges. And it continues to impact me um, in my personal life, not just collectively. For example, we're um, you know, evacuated in a way from our home right now because of the level of smoke and the electricity is out uh, for a couple days due to high heat and high wind and fire danger. And so I'm finding like every couple days or so, um, this feeling of sort of unrest and upheaval and it's, but yet most of the drama is feeling external and yet I have an internal re response. And I was talking to one of the doctors who's supporting me during this time so I can continue to support all of you. And um, she says, well, you know, what is, what, 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 how do you resource yourself? And I'm like, oh, I just go to intentional creativity. I go to the canvas, I write, I draw, I paint. And she's like, oh, you know, so you in creativity, like, you're amplifying um, the potential of how you're resourcing yourself. And I'm like, exactly. Intention is the amplification. And she's a naturopath and homeopathic doctor. So she said, oh, like homeop homeopathy, right? This is like this little dose, which ends up being the big thing. And so when I go to intentional creativity, I find my state changes, my nervous system relaxes, the looping ends. And even if it's just while I'm creating, it takes, it's a pattern interrupt. It's a complete pattern interrupt that allows me to stop and get regrounded. And then usually after I say, what do I want to do now? And I usually want to do something for the community because I have nourished myself. So why is this relevant to you? I believe with all my heart that we need more empowered guides, teachers, and educators than we've, I mean, we've always needed it, but wow, we need it right now. We need women who are awake, who are resourced themselves, who are informed, who have tools in place for themselves and that they can bring to others. It doesn't matter what field of work you're in. If you're a teacher, if you're a shaman, if you're a coach, if you're a doctor, if you're an educator of any kind, if you're a nurse, if you're a helping healing professional of any kind, bringing intentional creativity into your own personal practice, as well as into the practice that you do with others, both virtually and in person, is what most of our graduates say, one of the best things they've ever done in their life, along with their own graduations and their birth of their babies and their marriages to their beloveds. Like, it's a, it's a highlight moment. It's a life-changing experience. So I invite you to imagine during the cycle that we're in right now, committing to nine months dedicated to you and the development of your soul work. And what I want to assure you is that you will be nurtured for yourself and your own creativity, but you will be given such an unbelievable amount of tools to work with. But those tools and that content is all designed to inspire and spark your own content and tools. It isn't just about duplicating the tools that we give you. It's about doing the work so that you can do it with others. This is a call to action a call to gather circles, and a call to bring creativity as a tool for resilience, for healing trauma, 
for increased agility, for rewiring the brain. When you work with intentional creativity the way that we are, we are causing new pathways to form that you can then begin to depend on as you go forward in incredible new ways. Legend isn't just one class. Legend is really the shifting of a lifestyle of choosing what part of the story are you going to play? What is your role? You don't get to choose all the stuff that's happening around you. I don't get to choose what's happening. I don't get to choose that my friends are, uh, their wells are running dry. I don't get to choose uh, that there's smoke at my house. I don't get to choose that I have friends and family who are ill from what we're dealing with right now. We don't get to choose all that stuff, but we do get to choose the story we tell about how it responds to our interior world and therefore how we shape ourselves as a human being. And will you be one who serves or continually be in the one who is in need of service? I don't mean that to sound harsh, but it, is, it feels harsh to me. Like Because we need people who are practiced and resourced enough to be in service to others. We need a lot more of us right now than we ever have before who can provide relief because people are panicking. I am sure you've seen it. I'm sure you've felt it. I hope working with Legend is an, as a source of, of deep joy and inquiry for you. But we need educators and leaders and healers to be empowered, to be in a position of service, of awakened compassion. And I know that intentional creativity does that in a way that is, is exponential in each of our lives. So I want to say to you, whether you feel you're ready for the next great adventure, you just know in your soul that intentional creativity is a life path for you as it is for thousands of other women, or whether you just feel like you're hanging on for your life and it would be good for you to do something which even has you think that you can offer service to others. By the time you complete, you'll have a medicine basket, a toolbox filled with things that you can share with others. But once again, it's not just about what we bring you, it's about what happens for you while you're in the training and how you're gonna create these over five absolutely freaking epic paintings nobody ever regrets meaning is making a series of epic paintings that are a body of work. No one regrets it. Why would you? It's, it's life-changing. And plus you redecorate your whole home with images that you've created and hopefully sell some in the future. If that's important to you, make prints and cards and things like that, create your own media. So that's the other, one of the other focuses inside the training is how to create your own media using your work, how to teach virtually and in person and how to, really began to allow the images which flood the world. The internet is made up of majority of images, but let the images be by awakened, empowered, compassionate women who are on the side of service of being the provider. And even when we're the provider, we also need our own services. So inside of our guild, all of the women support each other, which is so incredible. And so when I say, what side of service will you be on? There's this indication that we need more people who are empowered to serve, but you will also need to be served. So intentional creativity helps with that and the community. But the more that we can choose to be healed enough and move out of whatever story has kept us small, the more able we will be to gather others and to bring them life through creativity. Creativity is life force. It is life source. It is at the heart of how the soul expresses itself through us and form. And so I invite you to consider being one of the many carriers of what we think of as a gift, the gift and the grace of intentional creativity. I welcome you. I hope you'll come with us. Mama, bad.